was not a good idea. Yeah, we can't I, think much. I'm literally crying. <laughs> I don't want to breathe. Welcome, Welcome to, to Jamming, Jamming with Janny. My name is Justin. And I'm Danny, and together we make Janny. Today's episode, we're gonna, let's let's just be real with everybody right now. If you just wanna see us die, just go straight to the end of this video. But if you're looking to learn and have fun while you do it, stick with us. Because what are we gonna do today? Well, Danny, I'm glad you asked. We are going to be talking about the three types of digital pollution. As listed out in Human Centered Communication. Shameless plug. Written by Steve Passanelli and Ethan Butte on the Bomb Bomb staff here. And we're gonna be talking about those three forms of digital pollution, which actually grow in intensity. We're also going to be growing in our intensity of spicy chips. Stage one in digital pollution is innocent pollution. Now we're gonna be talking while we eat these, I would say rather innocent, very innocent. spicy chips. The second type of pollution is going to be consequential pollution. Now we're stepping our game up a little bit here. And level three, is intentional digital pollution. And what we're no actually joke. gonna be talking about the Pocky One Chip Challenge while we also talk about intentional digital pollution. Seek medical assistance should you experience difficulty breathing, fainting, or extended nausea. I've got a lot more questions about this, but I'm gonna save them until oh, we're actually it. eating this. Yeah. So let's get on with the challenge. Yeah. Going with the first form of digital pollution being innocent pollution. Now, innocent pollution is those types of digital communication that you receive on a regular basis that aren't actually meant to cause any harm of any kind. Like my family text threads. Sorry, family, if this is the first time you're finding this out, I have muted your text threads because I hate seeing that I have 93 text messages from my family when all you really need to do is pick up the phone to share a couple of minutes of really important information about our Christmas gathering with me. Pay attention, Karen. <laughs> I'm more of the guy that's the Justin just left the chat on those. <laughs> Let's dive into these chips. Let's innocently. I'm gonna pollute. go with the most. I'm gonna go with the most innocent first. Another good example of innocent pollution is a long back and forth chain of emails. When actually, one of the things that you could do is just send a quick video. The spice kind of picks up. It did pick up on those. We actually ran a study with one of our customers to see if those videos would help save time. And by fact, it actually did decrease time to resolution by 82%. And it, and actually increased CSAT scores by 32%. Is that what it is? Yep. So you're what? Decreasing time. Decreasing time and increasing your customer experience by just simply sending one video. I'm actually on a LinkedIn group email and I kind of look at it sometimes, but I've just, I've never exited. I just don't really look at it often. Mm -hmm. We actually have a group Slack chain about how much we dislike Justin in the office, but I don't look at it all the time. The second type of digital pollution is consequential pollution. What is consequential digital pollution? Well, according to Steve and Ethan, it's a negative consequence of a process with a separate goal. Think of it like this, a poorly targeted campaign. Yep, or sending that third or even fourth email today hoping for a response. <laughs> you ever done that? I've never done it, but I I've know never, people who I, have. I, I, don't know, I, I know, know a guy who did one. People who have. Yeah, yeah. I would do that. Hmm? How about some chips? Oh yeah, I forgot that we were doing. I want to try these. These. It these. was kind of consequential. Think about it this way: you just got a connection request on LinkedIn. Okay, seems innocent. I'm gonna go ahead and click accept. And now I have four paragraphs of text filling up my inbox. These are squealing hot. Did you fart? Oh my gosh, this is the poor Christ. That's what a, that's what they smell like. <laughs> this is the second one I'm eating. That's just I don't think pork rinds are terrible. Try with these. This had a little kick to it. Instagram ads. Oh. Now, here's why I would say this could be a good example of consequential digital pollution because it's actually up to the recipient how they're going to Fair view point. it. And sometimes I've actually bought some things, especially for gifts for my wife through Instagram ads. But a lot of times I don't want to see the Instagram ads. What a sucker, first off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so consequential digital pollution, anything else to say about it? Here's Those what, are delicious. Here's what I would say about consequential digital pollution. <laughs> if you think the recipient will think it's annoying, don't send it. Think about this, salespeople that have attended trade shows. Those leads that you've gathered, you want to make a big, 
big mass email. Some people may everybody. actually refer to them as people that you've gotten cards from. <laughs> But now since I've got their email address, which was on their business card, I'm about to send them a whole lot of emails. And you know you felt the guilt. Here's my favorite phrase in this form of digital pollution is more isn't always better. That's great. Quality over quantity. Absolutely. All right. I got to pee first. Okay. Yeah. I'm afraid I will lose. I'm, I'm, I will lose my, my urine. <laughs> I want to make sure that it does not touch the edge of my mouth. No. no. What if I were to like, you thought I was going to eat this chip the entire time, but I like crushed it and just rubbed it in your eyes. Oh my gosh. Round one, spicy punch. Round two, scorpion sting. Round three, vision disruptor. Like this is going to mess with Vision how disruptor I see is the things. one that's actually scaring me the most. Round four, gut slash. All this is leading up to the last form of digital pollution, oh, which yes. is intentional pollution. Think of it like the email from the Prince of Nigeria. Exactly. Those emails that you get where he's in trouble and he needs a little bit of financial help and you're the only one who can help him. That's intentional digital pollution. The rules real quick. Yep. Eat the entire chip. Wait as long as possible before drinking or eating anything. I ain't drinking that milk. He, he is going to drink blood. the milk. Justin grew up in Michigan. He didn't even know the word taco until he was 14 years old. <laughs> All right. Mine's in two pieces. Hold it's on. all going in at once. Wait, wait for me. Oh, I'm going full chip, baby. No, yours is not the full chip. There's a piece missing. No, no. Wow. A I got more. Okay. No, oh, I'm just I saying. got more chip. Look, there's an I edge cut off of his. Chip. There's an edge off of his. I just want to say this. If somehow you don't end up eating this, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> Back at you. I would, I would rather tase ourselves again than eat this chip. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Break. Ready? It's a, it's a whole chip. It really smells like chocolate. What corn is this color? Let's go. Not good. <coughs> Down the hatch. NBD, baby. <laughs> cool as a cucumber. Hottest chip in the world? Give me a break. I'm gonna start crying. Yeah. We can't I, think much. I'm literally crying. <laughs> I don't wanna breathe. <coughs> Ooh. You're in 90 seconds. I got this. How long does it usually take? On a scale of one to 10, I'm not at 90 yet, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but this is hot. I don't think I've ever created so much saliva in my life. I'm just joking, guys. This doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> hey, you want to go play a game of ping pong right now? Yeah, I'm cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need anything. My pits are so wet. <laughs> well, you, I ha oh my gosh. I just got a little piece of chip out of the back of my mouth. <laughs> are you gonna drink something? Uh-uh. Oh, cool. Right. Cool, right. man. Right. Although, I can tell you what I'd love to do is put a big scoop of that ice cream in that milk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pour a little bit of this on top of it. <laughs> yeah. We're at two minutes, Matt. Two and a half. Okay, how thank long, you. How long are you five. supposed to do it? Oh, five? Oh, frick. Three minutes. I don't know. Are we not supposed to drink water? Until five. No, minutes. I, no, yeah, you should drink all of that. It'll help. You can hold it. You gotta go it. back to the rule book. Drink all your water. Oh, okay. <sighs> you should drink your water, Justin. Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of people who bought this, right? This dude it has $25 for one chip. This dude is sailing his yacht right now in the underworld. In the underworld <sighs> is absolutely right. So, was that the vision disruptor stage? Because I haven't got a gut slash. Oh, no. <laughs> I just, just as you're saying, as I, I haven't gotten a gut slash. As I said gut, I just felt a yeah. bubble. It's not getting better, man. <coughs> you got this. <laughs> you got tears I don't have from it. your nose. That's, that's not tears from my nose. I'm, not. I'm like ugly crying. <laughs> Did you wipe your face off? Yeah, All we right. can do that. Hey, I beat him to that. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Let's read something. Take my. Wow. I, uh, uh, I kind of hurt more. Five minutes. Ah! Five minutes. You guys are still going? 
We, I'm we not going to be the first in? one to touch it. No. I don't need any milk. <sighs> I've been a Cool Ranch Dorito since we started this thing. I'm cooler than the other side of the pillow. Dude, look, okay. How long can you last before getting owned? Five minutes, powerless. 10 minutes, powerful. Bro. No. Uh, bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna drip on my pants. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want this. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Wouldn't you really like to lick that? <laughs> Let's just go ten, right? Let's go get ten. Oh! I don't care. I don't care so much that I'm gonna have a second one. Dorito bag. Actually, that wasn't good. Oh, that was not a good idea. I feel like my glands are dispersing hot sauce. Like you could bottle up yeah. my spit, and it would be hotter than Tabasco. Three, two, one. Tabasco. Ten minutes, baby. Listen. Nobody likes digital pollution, and ain't nobody like that chip. You know what I think you should do with digital pollution? The same thing we did with the Pocky One Chip Challenge. Destroy, Destroy it! it! Oh! I You made it through a whole episode without talking about R. Kelly. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, dude. Yeah. I'm sorry to all of my fellow bomb bomb employees for tomorrow. You want to talk about pollution? <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, you just came out of the Pocky One Chip Challenge. What's your initial thought and feeling of this experience? Listen, I mean, this is what we're trained to do, right? Like, coach drills this into us every day is get out on the field and, and execute. And I, I think that's what we did. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching Jamming with Janny. I'm Justin. And I think I'm Danny. And together. I gotta be honest, this still got a very strong case <laughs> yeah. of brain fog. We could do that. What do you wanna do it over again? I'm sweating still. <laughs>